What's going on, everybody? So, another breaker in the news. Switching out packs live on camera. I know this was covered yesterday by Sports Card Radio. I had a bunch of uh, emails about this yesterday. And, wow. I'm going to go ahead and play the video. You guys watch. I'm going to come back, talk about it a little bit more in depth onto it. And I'll be right back. Here we go. You dipped, Daniel? You dipped? Why are you a dip? It doesn't matter if you choose left or right because they're both chewy, crunchy, and delicious. All right, here we go. <laughs> Daniel went and said, oh, fuck a duck. Go. All right, guys, we're back. So, wow, craziness. Lots to talk about into this. So, if you didn't catch what how when he swapped the pack out, first look at the pack originally, and I'm gonna go ahead and play onto this. Now, I don't know if you guys are gonna have the volume or not. So here we go. He's got the pack. Right there, Bazooka has it all. That's all you need to look at. Look at that. He's like, oh. There it goes off camera. Yep, Daniel. Now watch his eyes here. You can tell. Look, he's he's looking down as he's moving his hands around. Alright, here we go. So even if you're saying oops, sorry. Trying to get to where, well, it had a bazooka thing on the back of it. It's a different ad. And it's hard to go back onto this. Let me see if I go like. Oh, there it is. I can't get paused. See that bazooka right there? There we go. Tell me, man. Different controls on a different part of the screen. Completely different ad. Even if you're saying that you had other packs back there and you've forgotten all that stuff, oh, I put it behind me, why did you take it off screen to begin with? Cardinal rule number one frame breaker. Don't take your freaking product off the screen. It should always be in plain sight view for everybody to see. And maybe instead of having your face posted onto it, you have a overhead camera or a side camera just to take that whole piece out in case you knock the camera over, stuff like that there. This break group's been around for a very long time frame. The guy that's in here, most of you guys might know if you were part of the Sports Card Scammers page back in the day. He was the gentleman who had took in a PSA order, submitted to another a PSA submitter, and then cards, I guess, never made it out to PSA. Kind of like the Mars Cards thing where you had people taking PSA submissions, not telling their clients or the people who owned the cards. Then they submit to Mars Cards to submit for them to PSA. Anyhow, there was people, once they finally got their cards back and stuff like that there, saying that they were swapped out. I have no idea. I wasn't part of it, but just what was said on the thing. I will post a link. Sports Card Radio does have an article on it. It covers a little bit more in the detail, plus other stuff that went on during that time frame. If you guys are into Purple Charger and stuff and all that, I think it's all on the same page. But ridiculous that day and age of breakers... Can't even follow a simple rule. Keep the product on, on the camera at all. And more and more will be starting to disappear because they're not going to be getting allocations and everything else. So I'll talk about that later on in another video probably or in overtime. But this here I wanted to bring to everybody's attention because th this is foolproof. I mean, I tried to watch this. And I forgot to look at the chat more to see if anybody else caught it in the chat because I've been like, whoa, wrong pack, dude. Wrong pack. Look back in your live stream because I had a different back to it. But even if your excuse is that, oh, I, you know, I must have grabbed the wrong pack. Why'd you take it off the screen? Why didn't you leave it in front of you the whole time frame? I mean, you already. The sad part is, is once you have a questionable rep, you're always going to be questionable, regardless on this stuff there, and this just puts more question to play. 
just bad all across the board anymore for hobby for the hobby because we've had fake Pokemon boxes, fake prison boxes, the uh, Fleer box thing it hit. I mean, there's just been so much that keeps going on and on and on. We're going to see a total different year next year, starting with baseball, where people aren't getting the allocations anymore. And we're also going to end up starting to see, once Panini is no longer able to do football and basketball, a whole new realm of people that are going to be breakers then, because product, a lot harder to get a hold of. I mean, there's different avenues and stuff all out there, but man, this is... Just upsets me in no end every time I see somebody take the product off camera, then they bring it back on. It's something completely different. But yet, you know, people will still be like, oh, it's a mistake. No, no, that's not a mistake. That's an error on the fault of the breaker right there. The owner of this company should fire this guy. It's just too questionable. That's just me right off the bat. If you were my employee, you're fired. Gone. Out, I want nothing to do with it. But bad. So let me know what you guys think off in the comments as always out there. But you can tell packs are different. Alright guys, I'm out. I will catch you next video.